Hello, my name is Andrea Polti. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for the Magnetics product line here at Murata Power Solutions. In the next few minutes I will introduce and review our new 782482 series transformers, one of two supplier of parts approved for use with analog devices high-speed transceivers. Applications include isolated RS-485, RS-422 interfaces, industrial field networks, and multi-point data transmission systems. At the end of this presentation, you'll have the opportunity to request for a sample of these converter transformers so that you can evaluate them for your application. RS-485 and RS-422 bus standards are used in industrial and instrumentation applications that require transmission of data between multiple systems, often over very long distances. The RS-485 interface is the telecommunication industry's most widely used transmission line standard and is normally used with a higher level protocol, such as Profibus, Interbus, Modbus or BACnet. This allows for robust data transmissions over relatively long distances. RS-422 is specified as a simplex multi-drop standard, which means that only one driver and up to ten receivers can be connected to the same bus. If more than one driver needs to be connected on the same bus, then RS-485 is recommended. RS-485 is specified as a multi-point standard, which means up to 32 transceivers can be connected on the same bus. Analog devices ADM2482 and ADM2487 are isolated RS-485 and RS-422 data transceivers widely used in high-speed communication on multi-point transmission lines. Our new 782482 converter transformers are specifically designed and approved for use with these transceiver chipsets. This table provides an overview of the specifications and features of the cost-effective 782482 series transformers. Housed in an industry standard dual inline package using UL approved materials, the low profile 782482 series provides 4K VDC isolation and is available in 3.3 and 5 volt input models. In addition, the toroidal construction helps to maximize efficiency and minimize electromagnetic interference. Rush compliant and backward compatible with tin lead soldering systems, these new transformers operate under the industrial temperature range of minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius, ideal for use in a wide range of applications. Note also that the surface mount versions of these new converter transformers are currently under development. RS-485 and RS-422 bus standards are used in a wide range of applications. As mentioned previously, these bus standards are used in industrial and instrumentation applications that require transmission of data between multiple systems, often over very long distances. As such, the analog devices transceiver chipsets with our 782482 series transformers are ideally suited for process control networks, industrial automation, remote terminals, building automation such as heating, ventilation and air conditioning, security systems, motor control, and motion control. The diagram shown here has been extracted from the analog devices datasheet and depicts the application reference diagram for the ADM2482 and 2487. Analog devices specifies that the transformer used needs to be center tapped. Furthermore, the turns ratio of the transformer must be set to provide the minimum required output voltage at the maximum anticipated load with the minimum input voltage. The analog devices datasheet also specifies its approved transformer suppliers and as you can see Murata is one of the two listed suppliers. Analog devices has fully tested and qualified the 782482 transformers for use with these devices. Furthermore, compared to the competition, our 782482 transformers not only boast a smaller footprint, but are also offered at a lower price. For the very latest product information, including comprehensive data sheets, application notes, and where to buy, visit us online. You can also search for parts in stock with our distributors and at our own sites, as well as go straight to a distributor's shopping cart. 
For specific magnetics technical inquiries, you can also contact us directly using the contact details shown here. And finally, to request a product sample, please click on the link shown here. Upon filling out the required information, you will be notified that your sample request has been received. This presentation has now ended. Thank you for viewing this presentation. I hope it has been useful and relevant. Thanks, and have a great day.